got this leg. Got a wound up here. Secure that bleeding. Secure that bleeding. Secure that bleeding. All right, we're all secure. You hear me? Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. My name's Sebastian Younger. I'm so happy to see you here. I, as I've told a few people, we're just thrilled that this has been embraced the way it has been. Since uh, Tim Hetherington died, I've decided to stop. Basically, his death was my first sort of wake-up call. He was the first person I was really close to who was killed. It made me try to think about other ways that I could contribute to the world of journalism, uh, conflict reporting, specifically without actually doing conflict reporting. Each of these black bags has a little mask in it. I want you to pair up. One person's going to be lying on their back. The other person's going to come in. Make sure you feel that pulse. It's on the thumb side. You should be able to find that. Sorry for So you can really feel what that is going to be like if you're pushing on a real person. So what have you found so far? Uh, he's not responding to my questions. Uh, and uh, when I touch his head, okay. he, he makes a, a sound that sounds like the, it's very uncomfortable. Okay. So what do you think is the cause? Uh, head trauma. Okay. So we want to try to pull that tongue up off the back of that airway. Simplest way to do that? So, tilt the head back. All right, you're serious, clear. You guys got to go out there. All right. Stop that bleeding. Well, I thought it might be a head or neck injury, which okay. made me nervous to move her, but then I thought it might also be good to roll her over on her side to see if she had any injuries on her back. Beautiful. Okay, good. Roll a person over, have a quick look, and then put them in whatever position makes sense. Remember, it's not what you see that kills you, it's what you don't see that kills you. This is the Bronx Documentary Center. Tim came up here before he died, and we started this in his memory. That was a year ago, and so it's amazing to be here to today and see that it's really come together. And uh, I really want to thank you all for being part of it.